Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another video. Now again, this one, this one isn't a beer review. It is a little bit of a, a beer glass. It's not an unboxing, uh, but it's a bit of a beer glass haul. Now I ordered a lot of glasses from Beer Hawk because they were on offer. Uh, one box turned up, which I can't say too much about. Then another box turned up the following day and the other two boxes that I'm waiting, you know, that I ordered all at the same time, I'm waiting for, they're still with Yodel if you like. So I was gonna wait, but it could be another three, four days and then I'd have to get them all in and do that video and I can't be bloody arsed to be honest. So I went a little bit wild in the beer glass aisles on Perfect Draft uh, because they had offers where the stuff was half price and I thought, sorry, you know I'm a bit of a beer glass freak. Uh, so I've ordered some. So this is gonna be a very short video, but there's gonna be another two afterwards. Now, like I say, one box has turned up. I can't say nothing about that for certain reasons, right? So I won't. But the other box that turned up yesterday, and it did turn up yesterday at 10 past four, this is what I got in there. So they were doing packs for half price, like I say. So I picked up the Camden Town Jack pint glass pack, these ones. So I think they're sort of designed for the pale ale. They should be eight pound, I think, the packs for these, for two, two pint glasses, and they were four quid. So I got a couple of them. I also got a bar runner and a glass pack, and it's a low and brow one. And I've got low and brow glasses. I've got a low and brow Stein. I've got a low and brow 500 mil pint glass. I've got low and brow little chalice sort of glasses, if you like, stemmed ones. But these are different. So what I got was a two pack of these low and brow pint glasses and a low and brow bar runner. Now that is normally 20 quid. But the two glasses and the bar runner come in at a tenner, so I think that's a good price. Basically, that's worked out as a fiver. That's worked out at £2.50. But I've got two of them, so you know, there you go, fiver for that. And these have worked out like £2 each. £2 for a decent quality glass. Who gives a shit? It's too cheap. And the last but not least ones that I got in that box that I got yesterday, I'm really gutted because. When they turned up, I thought, my God, they are beautiful. And less than seven hours later of owning one, what did, what did Baz, Baz go and do? Or, or of owning two, I should say. What has Baz, Baz gone and done? Caught his arm on the door. The glass has slipped out his hand and fucking smashed. Absolutely gutted. So the last glasses we're on about is the Stella Artois unfiltered glasses. Look at that. They are beautiful. They really are. That frosting is absolutely beautiful. Uh, they should be 10 pound for two. I paid a fiver. Unfortunately, like I said, less than seven hours later after owning one, I now only have one because that frosting gives the glass a very much soft feel look. So they are a little bit slippy in your hands. So you do need to have a good grip of them. Like I say, I caught my arm on the door and obviously wasn't holding it tight enough and it just slipped out me out my bloody hand, hit the door frame, smashed on the floor. So there you go. Stella Artois, beautiful glasses, but very slippy, be careful with them. Camden Jack, little stubby kind of pint glasses, two of them, and I got two of these Lowenbrow, or Louvenbrow, as somebody likes to say, with the bar runner, two of them, and a bar runner for a tenner. So there you go, there's my little beer glass unboxing beer, glass haul if you like. There's going to be two more videos coming up so keep an eye on them. I know a few of you out there like the glasses and that's how I thought I'd do this. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to do a beer review now. See you again soon. Cheers.